Imagine waking up in a world where a mighty empire, one that has dominated for centuries, suddenly collapses, leaving chaos, poverty, and disarray in its wake. A world where political division, rampant corruption, economic instability, and cultural decay have spiraled out of control, taking down what was once an unstoppable force. Sound familiar? It should. Because while this sounds like ancient history, it's a scenario that feels eerily relevant today. In this video, we're not just looking at the past. We're drawing disturbing parallels between the fall of the Roman Empire and the challenges we face in the modern world. Could our societies be heading down the same treacherous path as ancient Rome? Are we doomed to repeat their mistakes? Stick around as we dive into the lessons of Rome's fall and what they can teach us about our future. This might just change the way you see the world, the glory and decline of Rome. To understand Rome's collapse, we first need to appreciate its rise. The Roman Empire was one of the most powerful civilizations in human history, lasting for over a millennium. At its height, it stretched from the British Isles to the deserts of North Africa, from Spain in the west to the Middle East in the east. Rome wasn't just an empire of land, but of ideas, innovations, and governance that would shape the Western world for centuries to come. But by the 5th century AD, this once invincible force had fractured. The Western Roman Empire fell to barbarian invasions in 476 AD, while the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, limped on for another thousand years until its final demise in 1453. The fall of Rome was not the result of a single event, but a culmination of internal weaknesses and external pressures. Understanding these factors provides essential insights into why the empire crumbled, and why some say modern nations might be repeating Rome's mistakes. Political corruption and division one of the most prominent factors in Rome's fall was internal political corruption and division. The Roman political system, once based on a balance of power between the Senate, consuls, and emperors, slowly disintegrated into chaos. Power-hungry generals, corrupt officials, and inept rulers increasingly undermined Rome's institutions. The imperial throne became a pawn in a deadly game of intrigue and assassinations. In the 3rd century AD, Rome entered what is known as the Crisis of the 3rd Century, a 50-year period marked by constant civil war, economic depression, and invasions from external enemies. Emperors came and went at a dizzying pace, some lasting only weeks or months before being murdered or overthrown. The constant infighting not only destabilized the empire but also weakened its defenses, leaving it vulnerable to foreign invasions. Parallels to modern times. Fast forward to today, and many modern nations face a similar form of political instability. Gridlock, partisan politics, and political leaders focused on short-term gains rather than long-term stability mirror the political corruption of ancient Rome. In the US, for instance, Political polarization has reached historic highs, with both parties often more concerned with defeating each other than solving systemic problems like income inequality, healthcare, and climate change. Could this political division lead to a similar breakdown in governance, economic instability, and overexpansion? The Roman Empire's economy, once robust, also played a major role in its decline. Rome grew rich through conquest, taxation, and slave labor. But as the empire expanded, maintaining its vast territories became increasingly expensive. Roads, fortifications, and a sprawling bureaucracy had to be maintained, while the Roman legions constantly fought on multiple fronts to protect the empire's borders. Over time, the costs of running the empire began to outstrip its income. Rome's reliance on slave labor also stunted economic innovation, as free citizens struggled to compete with cheap slave labor. Additionally, heavy taxation placed a burden on the empire's subjects, causing widespread resentment and rebellion. 
This led to economic stagnation, inflation, and ultimately the devaluation of Roman currency. Hyperinflation crippled the empire's finances. Parallels to modern times In today's global economy, many modern nations are facing economic crises of their own. Countries like the US are grappling with massive national debt, increasing income inequality, and the rising costs of healthcare, infrastructure, and social welfare programs. In some ways, the overexpansion of Rome parallels the global overreach of modern empires, where military spending, economic entanglements, and unsustainable debt levels could trigger economic collapse. Could the global economy be teetering on the edge, just like Rome's did centuries ago? Military Overstretch and Barbarian Invasions the Roman military was once the envy of the ancient world. Its disciplined legions could conquer and defend vast swaths of land. However, as the empire expanded, it became increasingly difficult to defend its borders. By the 4th and 5th centuries, the Roman military was overstretched, relying heavily on mercenaries and non-Roman soldiers who often had little loyalty to the empire. External pressures also played a crucial role in Rome's downfall. Barbarian tribes, Goths, Vandals, and Huns pushed against Rome's borders, seeking land and resources. In 410 AD, the Visigoths famously sacked Rome, shocking the ancient world and marking the beginning of the end for the Western Roman Empire. Parallels to Modern Times in the 21st century, nations like the US and other Western powers face challenges from a different kind of barbarian invasion. Instead of migrating tribes, modern nations are dealing with a surge of immigration, especially from war-torn and economically unstable regions. While the reasons differ, the pressures are similar. How to integrate new populations without destabilizing the native population? Additionally, military overstretch remains a problem for modern superpowers engaged in endless conflicts around the globe, from Afghanistan to the Middle East. Are these pressures a modern echo of the same forces that tore apart ancient Rome? Social and cultural decay Rome's decline wasn't just political or military, it was cultural. The Roman spirit of civic duty, discipline, and unity eroded over time. As the empire became wealthier, the Roman elite became increasingly detached from the realities of governance and public life. The famous phrase, bread and circuses, was coined to describe the Roman policy of keeping the masses content with food and entertainment while the empire rotted from within. Gladiatorial games, lavish banquets, and excess became the norm, masking the growing decay of Roman society. The rise of Christianity also played a complex role in Rome's fall. While it provided a new moral framework and eventually became the official religion of the empire, it also undermined the traditional Roman belief system and values that had once united the empire. This religious transformation contributed to social fragmentation and weakened the empire's cultural cohesion. Parallels to Modern Times in today's world, many fear that modern societies are also experiencing cultural and social decay. The rise of consumerism, political apathy, and a focus on entertainment over civic duty can be seen as modern-day versions of Rome's bread and circuses. Social fragmentation, cultural polarization, and the erosion of shared values are becoming more pronounced, especially in Western nations. The increasing reliance on technology and entertainment to distract the masses has many historians drawing parallels between modern society and Rome in its final days. Could this cultural shift be the prelude to the fall of modern nations? Lessons from the fall of Rome What can modern nations learn from the fall of the Roman Empire? Perhaps the most important lesson is that no empire, no matter how powerful, is invincible. The factors that led to Rome's collapse, political corruption, economic instability, military overstretch, and cultural decay are all warnings to modern societies. 
Rome's fall didn't happen overnight. It was a slow process of decline that took centuries. But by the time the warning signs were clear, it was already too late to reverse course. Today's warning signs. In our own time, we're seeing similar warning signs. Political instability, rising economic inequality, growing national debt, military entanglements, and social fragmentation all mirror the challenges faced by Rome. If modern nations don't learn from these historical lessons, they may be doomed to repeat them. Could history repeat itself? It's tempting to think that modern societies are too advanced, too interconnected to experience a collapse like Rome's. But history has a way of repeating itself. The global challenges we face today, from climate change to economic inequality, require strong, stable, and unified societies to solve them. If we continue down the path of political division, economic mismanagement, and social decay, the fall of modern empires could become a reality within our lifetimes. Call to action. The collapse of Rome serves as a reminder that empires are fragile, even the greatest ones. But it also offers hope because if we understand the mistakes of the past, we can avoid repeating them. Now, more than ever, it's important to pay attention to the warning signs and take action to build a more resilient future. The fall of the Roman Empire is a sobering tale of how even the most powerful civilizations can crumble under the weight of their own mistakes.